What's up guys? It's been about six months since my last review of the electric bike conversion. I wanted to go over a few things that have changed since the last six months. Um, I've broken a few things, added a couple things, so I wanted to do a kind of a follow-up on what I have done um, and how the bike conversion progressed. I just recently hit 100 miles, so 100 of really tough miles. It's not commuting or anything like that. 100% of these 100 miles were on the trails, single track, downhill, some hard stuff. I've beat up the motor, has a couple little chips on it, but it still works. It works great. There is, it has never let me left me stranded. Um, it's it's been a great great um, addition to my uh, Rocky Mountain bike. So let's take a look what I have changed. Here's the bike. Looks a little bit different. It's uh, not red anymore. The reason is because I broke the chain stay uh, on the brake side. After pretty much the first serious ride, the chain stay broke right over here. I suspect there was a weak spot here anyway. So when it broke, I didn't really notice it right away until um, it actually, the crack went all the way up to here. So I tried to get a new chain stay. The bike is pretty old, so Rocky Mountain still sells them, but they're about $300. So there's no way I was going to spend $300 on a $500 bicycle, which is what, how much it cost me when I bought it. So I just bought a new frame. I found a new old stock Rocky Mountain Element 50 frame and just swapped everything over. Everything fit just fine. And now I have a new frame with all the old components. So a couple things. I wanted to just really go over one product today. I'm gonna to make a couple more videos where I'm gonna go over the brakes separately. I will go and I'm gonna go over, uh, you know, the usability of the screen a little bit more, just my personal experience. I know there's a lot of other videos out there, but I wanna just do my own, kind of my own experience. I'm gonna talk a little bit about the battery. So, but today I wanted to just talk a little bit about uh, what has happened over the last 111 miles and um, go over this one product that I added to it. So let's let's go to the uh, uh, to this bling ring that I got, this blue thing. So I got it from Matt and Empower Cycles. And he's been super nice with uh, getting this stuff to me as soon as he got it, and uh, he's an absolute pleasure to work with. You should definitely check out his website. It will be on um, in the description. So. Uh, but the ring itself, it's a 42 tooth ring and it, Just in a, in a little side note here on the video, you will see uh, me weighing the original ring the one that it was a uh, uh, 46 tooth and uh, uh, This one so just to give you an idea how much lighter this ring is so the biggest ring is uh, about 10 ounces the smaller ring is about nine ounces, and this thing is only 4.3 ounces. So this is pretty incredible uh, how much weight you're saving. I don't know if it makes a huge difference, um, but I don't know if it's just kind of a, just my butt feel, uh, but it does feel, I don't know, it just feels a little bit different riding with this thing. Part of it could be that, it, it, they, so the Lique, I hope this is how we pronounce it, um, claims that because of the design, it keeps the chain uh, at better orientation and uh, keeps it in, in line better the I think it does I mean going through the cassette so going up and down on the gears really does make a difference in terms of um, there's a lot less mesh I feel like so it, it does make a difference at least that's what my feeling was um, and it looks great I mean it's definitely a bling ring um, they make a couple different colors I think they make a black and some other color but I just really wanted to add the blue. I think it makes a just kind of that anodized look just makes it really pop and just makes a little bit of a difference here. So one thing that is really cool about the ring is I'm going to zoom on here a little bit, um, zoom in a little bit closer. So this is a, so there's about I don't know 20 miles on it now. Um, and the cool thing about it is that we, every other tooth is thicker. So. There's a thin tooth and a thick tooth, thin tooth and a thick tooth. So apparently what that does, it just keeps the uh, um, keeps the chain 
uh, at a better, so it grips better on it, so it's less likely to skip. So it's less, li less likely to uh, jump it and either come off this way or the other way. So, you know, you don't have a I don't have a derailleur on the front. I just have this very poorly aligned uh, kind of a chain keeper. Uh, but I have absolutely no problem with the chain skipping, not, not whatsoever at all. Um, other than that, um, so the biggest thing is, is definitely having, um, having a smaller ring in the front. This is practically, I would say that maybe one more tooth less, maybe two less, and then it would be a perfect mountain bike. Right now it's in that really sweet spot where it, you can, I, can still, um, I can still do over 35 miles an hour in this thing. So heavy pedaling, heavy, is fast assist, or the, um, I guess the strongest assist on a level nine, on the smallest ring in the back, um, pedaling and throttling it, I can get like 36 miles an hour going on a, a, a in a straight line. It's working pretty hard, but the motor is pulling super hard. You can definitely feel it feel it pull. Um, just throttle, I was able to get to like 23 to 25 miles an hour. That's really impressive. Um, in terms of the amount of torque, it is definitely quite a bit more. Another thing is that what, the biggest reason why I got the smaller ring, why I wanted a smaller ring, is because I noticed when you go up some really steep hills, uh, the motor is the motor is definitely struggling a little bit. It's not struggling too much, but I did notice with this smaller ring that the motor is spinning a lot more free. So it's it's not bogging down as much. You can really feel it spin faster, and I noticed that it's a lot cooler. You know, I would ride if I ride the uh, the bike a little bit on trails where it's a lot of uphill I will touch the motor just to see if it's cool and it's definitely a lot cooler so it makes it it makes a difference for sure so in my opinion it's a great addition you know it's a hundred bucks but it's totally worth it so and I think that um, Matt actually sells them where you can upgrade when you're buying the kit and absolutely if you want to do this um, for, for a mountain bike full suspension or a hardtail totally worth it so um, get uh, get the ring if you're getting a kit for a mountain bike the ring the ring is an awesome upgrade other than that um, in terms of the way that the the motor got beat up a little bit it's kind of hard to see right now I'll go around and I'll show you um, there is a spot right over here you can kind of see it just kind of get down right over here Let me focus on it so at the very low spot, this is the only time, I, I can't really focus on it, but you get the idea. You see this little chip piece right there? So that piece chipped off when I hit a rock. So this is the only spot. The rest of it, the rest of it is really nice. There's no cracks on it. And I, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm riding this thing hard. So this, this is actually uh, pretty impressive for um, you know how low it is. It is definitely quite low. And I've gone on some trails that are pretty 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 serious trails for uh with rocks and stuff like that i don't know if you any of you guys that are watching these videos are from colorado but um lair of the bear is where i went a, a couple times in the in the last few weeks and um it, it's it, it's really rocky and i've barely ever hit this thing so i think only time i hit it and this is when i got the chip and i did you know when i hit it i knew that something's gonna break uh, but you know i only got that little chip and that's it so other than that, still super happy with the kit. Um, I will go over the battery and go over all the other details in terms of um, how you know how the range is. I'll talk a little bit about the brakes, which are amazing. But I want to talk about a little, a couple little things that I wish were a little bit different, and something where it's probably not necessary to get these humongous over 200 millimeter rotors for sure. Other than that, thanks so much for watching. Um, I like your comments on the old video, except I'm sorry I am a lot. It's kind of one of those things that I'm gonna be working on. But thanks for watching, appreciate your comments, and uh, ask questions if you'd like.